What's up guys? So today's the day. It's a sad and happy day here in the auto shop life. We got the snap-on deal going down. So getting ready to wait on the snap-on guy. He'll probably be here in the next hour or so. I don't know. It's his last day so I don't know if he's going to be running late or early or what. Um, you know he did mention he'll probably be popping in throughout. Um, you know, I don't know if he sold his truck yet or what the deal is or if he's got to finish up a couple of the other accounts and all that stuff. He might be, you know, he might be going in his personal car collecting some of the money. I don't know how they would do it when they retire and all that stuff, but I'm ready for him. I was texting him last night. He's going to bring in a couple extra things for me. Um, I'm all set up. I got my box. I mean, it's going to be, we're going to see what I got here. Um, you know, if they had a... If they had a snap-on shopping cart, I'll probably go on there with a shopping cart. But uh, I plan on I plan on getting a few things. You know, I, I wrote a little list of a couple of things that I want. He gave me uh, he gave me a couple of these little sheet things here. Let me show you guys these little uh, want lists from Snap-on. These are dangerous little lists, I guess. But yeah, you fill these out. I guess it's supposed to be like a like a wish list or something like that but I filled a few out I gave them to him when he was here the other day some of the stuff I've been eyeballing on his truck you know just hey how much is this ah, okay I don't really need that I'll wait but those are probably the things I'll be grabbing um, I'm gonna see if maybe I'll grab if he's got any scanners on there maybe I'll grab some we'll do a 5k giveaway with that um, so we'll see I asked him last week he's a little camera shy I asked him last week if, if uh, you know we could film on his truck like some of the other guys do on YouTube but you know he's his truck I, I noticed the last couple months his trucks kinda of been depleting I noticed he wasn't reordering stuff the specials that were in the hot tools didn't end up on his truck so I kinda of knew something was up but get this deal going through guys I got the uh, I got the cash ready stopped at the bank um, not that I'm going to be spending all this, but, you know, not that I'm showing off either, but, you know, I just want to make sure, you know, in case I feel like buying his whole truck, you know, maybe I'll buy his whole truck, start, uh, start selling tools on the side, you know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to get this deal go through guys, see what we get, run through these tools, hopefully get some cool stuff, so we'll check you guys in a little bit, let's get this deal going. Alright guys, so deal's done. He uh, got a few things off his truck. He's a little camera shy. You know, I, I had the camera in my pocket. You know, I tried I tried getting him for me to turn the camera on on the truck just to kind of show you, but man, his truck looks like a thrift store. I mean, it's, it's you could tell he's, he's got empty boxes in there. It looks like he's, uh, he's already taken some stuff out of the truck, it looks like. Um, Definitely took care of me. I mean, we went through it. You know, I pretty much rummaged through everything he had. Uh, some of the stuff pulling from the back shelves, there was like an inch of dust on it. Some of that stuff I never realized was on his truck until till today. Um, but he, he did say that he's gonna he's gonna be popping in tomorrow. He he hasn't found anybody to buy his truck yet or anything like that. I don't know I don't know what the story is on that. What you do with your truck afterwards and all that. But. Uh, he, he hooked us up. I asked him about a scanner. He said he's going to look into it. He said he might have some at the house. Um, he's also got a few other things he's going to bring for me. I, uh, I asked him about the uh, heated jackets because we had talked about it before. He's actually going to be getting me a heated jacket for Christmas. So I'll still be seeing him. You know, he'll be here maybe next week. I don't know if he's going to be in the truck or not. But there's a couple more things that I want to grab off of him. Uh, hand soap. Um, just a few little odds and ends, little TPMS tool. I think Blue Point makes them. I'm gonna pick up off of them. The little, the little Lyle things that you guys usually see on the trucks, like stapled to the walls and things, and things overhead that you kind of don't look at when you're on the truck. Um, and his truck's kind of dark. He don't have great lighting in there, so I gotta like go in there with a flashlight. You're like, oh, I didn't know you had this tool. So, but check it out, guys. This is kind of the stuff I got off of them. Um, this one right here, I've been eyeballing this set for a long time, but I mean, you know, the price of these things are crazy. 
Um, he gave me a real good deal on this. It's the half inch swivel. Uh, I think this is like the mid sockets or whatever. You can see it's like kind of a deeper. It's okay though. Some of these, the main ones, 15 and all that stuff, that's what I'll be using it for. But got the nice set of that. It'll go along with the 3 8 I got a few weeks ago. This is in half inch. I got some quarter inch stuff. Um, little, uh, you know, impact for the... Uh, for the impacts I got, the battery impacts I got the extensions for. I got this in quarter inch. It kind of finishes off this one I got in the, uh, I think this is the metric Allens I picked up. That's what I was looking at on his truck. Yeah, yeah, what is this? Uh, 4 to 14 in uh, 3 eighths this one is. And then it carries it on. There's, I think, a double in this one. This one's got, uh, what is that, 2 to 6. But it goes down pretty small, and this is, goes to quarter inch. So I got that. And I picked up the standard, I want to say the standard hex, I think I needed it in the long. Some of these I got just random ones, um, but I wanted the full set for those brake jobs and things like that. Uh, Torx I had, but he had the ultra shallow ones, picked a set up of those Torx. Could never have too many Torx. I mean, these things, warranties out, warranting these out like crazy, so I'll have some new tools for my new Snap-on guy to warranty out real quick. Um, got the standard, I'm pretty weak on the SAE tools, but I got the Chromies in a six point. Um, not that I care, just hey, it's a deal, it's there. You know, hey, give me, give me, give me what you got into it, you know. So pick that up. Some of the stuff, uh, you know, he really hooked me up on other things, you know, like like this one, he really gave me a hook up on. Um, got some lady fingers who gave me a hook up on this. This is one of those ones, had to pull this from the depths of his truck, was in the back. Um, and I got a lady foot set, but you know, snap on. It's got four piece set, nice set. Here's part number on that one. And if you guys are using these, I got uh, I got these, the Thunder Bits set, the Cobalt ones. Really nice drill bits. I mean, probably the best, one of the best out there. Snap on brand, so I won't have to worry about the bits anymore. Got these, been wanting these for a while. Super expensive set. Picked that up for a killer deal. I got this. I think he wanted to say these these were in the hot tools for this month. I don't know why he had them, um, but I picked this up. It was kind of like a buy one, get one. He had these sitting in the back collecting dust. You can actually see the packing's even different. This is how they used to pack them with the Snap-on logo. You can tell this is an old, old tool. Been sitting on his truck probably since the 90s, but I got it in standard too, the, uh, the ultra shallow ones. So I'll pick those up in the quarter inch drive. I like the ratchets. These are, these are real nice sets. I'll definitely be putting those to use. So, but that's pretty much kind of sockets beefed up on, you know, believe it or not, a lot of the stuff on his truck, you know, either, either, you know, I really don't need anymore or I already have, you know, it was hard to decide, you know, like I said, I might be, I might be just picking up the rest of the stuff next week and as time, you know, till the last day I see him, but you know, this is what I grabbed for now. Um, you know, going on a business sale, whatever you want to call it, retirement sale. I got the blue point, um, kind of go along with my relay buddy. Um, I have the smaller set, but hey, maybe I'll do it in a giveaway or something like that. I kind of like these better. It comes with these little relay pliers. Hey, you can never have too many pliers. So I got two sets of these now, the little connectors for it. But these are real nice. You could uh, test your relays and the circuitries on it and all that stuff. Make sure you're switching, check your powers and grounds, going to the relay while the relay's still plugged in. So this is real cool. A bunch of different ways to test relays, but I like doing it this way. Or if you're losing, using a lab scope, you could always probe off of that. So real easy, nice kit. And this was another kit I kind of was eyeballing, but it didn't really need because you know I already have half the set, I already have these, but it's nice to have it in one blow molded case. And then I picked up uh, the fan clutch tool, another one I've been eyeballing. Nice, nice set. Um, you know, they make a bunch of different ones, but the, I think this is made by Lyle. Pick this one up, part number 43300. Nice set. But, and then I got to beef up my uh, pliers. These were all stuck overhead. I picked up some of these I already have. I got two of these for the house. And then the rest of these are kind of just to finish off, you know, the pliers he had for the snap-on pliers that I got. I got the duck bills, long and short. I got the uh, channel, or the... Uh, uh, slip joint pliers big big version and then I got the uh, little vampire style pliers but these got different teeth on there pretty nice and they also cut so and then I got the uh, electrical crimper and cutter wire cutter love these handles can never have enough snap-on pliers love snap-on pliers the best out there in my opinion so and I forgot to mention, guys, he gave me a little uh, snap-on bag, too. 
like a book bag. Got a handle on it. A little spot for your uh, phone to come out, charger or whatever. Put the little battery charger in there or headphones, whatever, whatnot. Put your iPad down in there and get the headphones coming out. Nice bag. He threw that in for free. Add to my many snap-on bag collection. But that's it, guys. Quick tool haul. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'll see him next week. You know, I probably, I, my days are numbered with him. He'll probably come next week, but I wanted to get something out there for you guys. You know, um, he's got a few, he said he's got a little, a few surprises for me. We'll see. We were talking about, he has a couple of the old trade-in tools. He, you know, you know, you give it, you buy a tool on a special and then you trade in your old tool. Well, him being old school, I don't know what Snap-on does with him, but he always kept them. He's always had them stuck under his seat and I'd always see him like, hey, what's that, you know? Uh, he don't need that stuff anymore. So we're gonna see if he throws it my way. Maybe if there's anything good, we'll put those on some of the giveaways or something like that. You know, I'll run through it, see what's see what's good. If I could use parts for my ear tools off of them, um, the heated jacket I want from him. He always brings me great Christmas presents though. But I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, I can't say I'm his. I don't know if I'm his best customer, but you know, I definitely definitely probably uh, got him to retire a little quicker with some of the uh, money I spent with him. You know, it's not like it's my money. You know, it's, uh, you know, my shop pays for it and it's, you know, right off and, and everything like that. So, but I do use these tools. They do make me money. You know, he's, uh, he helps me, you know, I help him make a living by buying tools off him. He helps me make a living by selling me tools. You know, I use those tools to make money. Any one given ratchet or plier that you buy could make you an endless amount of money. You know, I have, in my service card, I have, I have tools in there that I've had for so long. I've probably made enough money on you know, a small set of sockets and a ratchet to pay for this toolbox, for crying out loud. So, you guys get what I'm saying. But, you know, he will be missed. You know, hopefully, hopefully my next uh, Snap-on guy is not a douche. You know, I've had some bad luck with Snap-on guys. Probably the last two before, before him, you know, I, I, like I said, I never really bought tool, Snap-on tools off him just because of that reason. You know, I love Snap-on tools. I always wanted to buy Snap-on tools, but, you know, I'm not going to spend money with somebody that, uh, you know, don't take care of their customers or, you know, comes in cocky, arrogant, don't want to spend time with you, things like that. Hey, if, if you don't have time for me, okay, my money's no good with you then. You know, I'll spend my money elsewhere, but you guys get what I'm saying. So, but quick tool haul, just want to put you guys through it. Um, like I said, I did ask him about a scanner. He said he's got a couple at his house. We'll see if I could score something decent. Um, maybe another Modus or something. I don't know. You know, Modus Solus. They're, they're, they're a couple of my favorite scanners. I really like the Modus, even the old school Modus. Um, you know, it's got the lab scope on there. It's a great scanner. It's, it's one of those scan scanners that, uh, you know, it'll be around forever. It's just like the brick, snap on brick. That scanner's going to be a lot. You, you, it always, you always have uses for it. You know, it's great scanners. So, but as always, guys, appreciate the support. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.